and welcome to my channel. And what I'm going to talk about today is I've got a few different things to talk about, but I'm going to start off with is a raw vegan lifestyle the answer to everything? Is eating raw foods going to cure everything? And why am I not losing weight on raw foods is one of the questions that I get. And you know, I see some people on raw foods and they look so good and they say they're thriving, um, but other people don't look so hot and you know, just different things along those lines. So I'm gonna start off with the weight loss. And the reason I'm starting off with that is because that's one of the subjects that I seem to hear a lot about, even at work, not dealing with raw foods and people who aren't on raw foods that talk to me about weight loss and their struggles. And on raw foods, people think sometimes because it's raw, they think that it's okay to eat it, that it's not going to cause any problems because it's good for you you know this is good for you that's good for you and if it's raw it's good for you and that's not necessarily true so last week i talked a little bit about um the different sprouts that i do and adding sprouts and i was talking more about being satiated on foods and making sure that you get enough calories but what i want to say this week is sometimes getting enough of your calories from fat may not be th the thing for you if you are trying to lose weight if that is one of your goals is to lose weight and to feel good and to you know anti-age lose weight feel good we all want those things and you're just not seeming to do it and of course if you're trying to lose weight that really could be frustrating if you feel like you're eating salads and you're eating less and you're just not losing weight and the reason why you're not losing weight is a lot of times because in order to lose weight you need to take off more of the calories than you are actually taking in so if you're not burning off enough calories and you're taking in more than what you are burning off, that's how you gain weight. And to lose weight, of course, we do the opposite. So people say, well, why if I'm on raw foods and I eat all these salads and stuff, why wouldn't I be losing weight? Isn't raw food supposed to help you lose weight? Well, not necessarily, and there are some people on raw foods that just lose weight, which I did. I was one of those people that lost weight, and I wasn't really heavy to begin with, but this is the thing. I had my struggles because even though people would still say I was skinny, I was wearing certain clothes that I was hiding around my stomach because I was gaining weight around my stomach when I first got on raw foods because I was eating too much fat and I could not digest all the food. I had a lot of issues and I felt like I was going from more of a figure like this to something that looked more similar to Humpty Dumpty because of my stomach, which it probably is an exaggeration to a certain degree, but I was feeling that my stomach was very distended. And I think that anybody who's a raw foodie that might have went through this with eating too many nuts and seeds and just adding all these oils and doing all this stuff, that it will really make your stomach very distended and you will be gaining weight in places that you don't want it and you can still look skinny and you know to other people and have weight where you don't want it and it can still be very unhealthy so to try to get a strategy together on how to figure out what is going on and why you're not losing the weight can sometimes be kind of tough but some of the easy things can be one of the things that i eliminated from my lifestyle, which took me a lot of time, was oils. And I know that there's still 
a lot of raw foodies out there that use oils and I see some of them that still, um, you know, they keep their weight okay and they look great and all of that. And some of them that still have some struggles, I mean, we're all a little bit different. But the reason why I decided that I did not want to add oils anymore is because I figured out that oil is too much of a concentrated amount of fat at one time and adding it to salads and things, you've already added a lot of fat just by adding the olive oil. And if I wanna add something like an avocado and a couple of pumpkin seeds, I've already added a whole bunch of extra. And if you're eating dur during the day, you're eating a few nuts and then you're adding all these oils and then you're adding um, other fats like an avocado and things of that nature. Let's have a coconut on top of that and things. Those things are all fattening, so you have to kind of figure out how much fat you're taking in. Maybe that coconut isn't going to be so good when you have already ate an avocado that day and you've already added olive oil. And even though you're eating salads and you could even be sprouting, if you're adding that much fat, that could be why you're not losing any weight. And another big thing, and I have actually seen people do this that are raw foodies or people who at least try to live on mostly raw foods, um, that they tell me that they come home late and they eat a smoothie before bed, you know, and add a little bit of almond butter and things like that. Well, you're never gonna lose weight if you're eating before bed, even if it's a smoothie. Now that, for a lot of raw foodies, that's something that a lot of them don't do. That's really one of like the staple things that people don't do, but there are some that do do it. I have had a couple of them say that to me before and I'm like, well, you talked about why you're not losing weight and that's exactly why. So, or that's one of the reasons. So if people are struggling and they have these problems and they have these weight loss goals, but they're just not getting to them, I would really kind of suggest figuring out how much fats that you're wanting to take in in a day and what things you can eliminate, even if you have to take a piece of paper and a pencil and write these things down and set yourself up some goals with some strategies to figure out how to conquer these things. And adding exercise always helps. I'm a big anti-aging um, person who believes in all of these things. And I don't believe, even though I highly believe in raw foods, as being one of the major components, I still believe in exercise and I still religiously don't eat before bed and I try to stick to a low fat lifestyle. Now, some people's goals for low fat might be different than others. Some people may only add one fat a day. Some people may add two and some people may distribute it throughout the day into small segments making sure that if they eat a certain amount earlier in the day that it's only a small handful um, of nuts or maybe a half an avocado and eat another half at night with a salad that may have a little bit of tahini or something else in it. And you know, that may be all the fats that you eat that particular day. But um, the, one of the reasons, like I said, with the olive oils is because it's just such a, not only is it processed, but it's such a saturated um, fat that adds to the fat every day, drizzling a little here and drizzling a little there. And I would rather get my fats through eating olives, which I do eat olives. I've not had them lately, but sometimes I will add olives. I would rather get it that way I would rather get it from the coconut rather than 
getting it from the coconut oils but if you're somebody that just enjoys olive oil and you just feel like it's something that you just have to add to your salad maybe think twice about adding a full avocado and eat half and really cut back on the other fats during the day because it really depends on what your goals are and how much fat you want to take in but some people just have absolutely no idea how much fat they're eating they just think that because it's raw it's okay to eat it and it's healthy and it's healthy fats healthy fats people say well there's only so many healthy fats that you can take in in a day and think that you're going to lose weight so i just wanted to kind of start off with that on the weight loss so i want to say a little bit about raw food success and how to succeed on this and the people that are succeeding on this and you know, do people really believe that people are starving and having to starve on this lifestyle in order to be able to lose weight and in order to be able to live on this lifestyle and just not only just for weight loss, but for the anti-aging and for feeling good and having all this vibrant energy that everybody talks about. And how come some people are saying that you know, they just can't uh, live on this lifestyle. These people can't be telling the truth. I have had stories and people that have talked about, even other YouTubers that have been accused of, there's no way that anybody could possibly live on this. Oh, she just stays too thin. She's getting emaciated. Give her a couple of years. She's not gonna make it on this lifestyle because nobody can make it on this lifestyle. Well, that's not true because there's many people out there that make it on this lifestyle and are still thriving after 20 years on the lifestyle. So if that were true, there wouldn't be anybody doing it. And some people might think that those people are just lucky, but really it's not luck. Those people have had to work at this. And, you know, I just want to say that it is really um, a passion for people that really live on these raw foods for years, even if it's just been two years. Um, that's a long time to stay on raw foods. I mean, it, it is a commitment and it is something that you really have to want to do and the people out there that are youtubing um on raw foods or people in general that are just living on raw foods they are really doing a lot of studying and research and constantly changing things and wanting to be on this lifestyle and it's not just something that they're just getting up every day and just trying to add this into a daily schedule it's something that takes a lot of hard work and commitment but it can be done if you are really and truly wanting it it can be done so i i just i see a lot of people out there that bash people that are staying at a really good weight and if they are skinny People think that they are starving and if they look good and they're thriving on a raw vegan lifestyle, they think that they are probably getting Botox and sneaking other foods and, you know, just different crazy things that I hear. And they're all completely bogus things that are absolutely ridiculous. These foods are very anti-aging and when you start to thrive on this lifestyle, if you can figure out how to get this game plan to work for you, if you're living your life for these foods and trying to succeed every day, at, like this is your air that you breathe every day is to get in these good foods and you will you will have some struggles and you will always want to learn more things but these people like myself included are out there every day researching something new about something whether it be 
oils and why not to use oils or who uses oils or do you use salt or not use salt or should we add spirulina and you know other things like that there's just so many different things involved in learning how to live on this lifestyle and thrive on it and people who really take that interest every day they really do succeed at it because I have a lot of different acquaintances out there that I talk to that are doing wonderful and you know sometimes they get good rapport sometimes they get bad and I have had some of the same things myself you know, I am into a lot of different anti-aging things and there's a lot of little different things that I do that are all natural methods. But I do believe that the foods alone for some people have really been successful. And, you know, it's really hard to explain that to people out there sometimes that are sort of halfway interested, but they're not totally interested in it. So. I think that you have to really realize how bad it is that you want to live on raw foods or how bad it is it that you want to lose weight and succeed on this lifestyle or even if you're just somebody who wants to be, um, you know, doing 75% and adding some cooked foods. If it, if it takes adding some cooked foods like... Um, boiling a sweet potato or adding black beans on occasion or something and cooking them on lower heat temperatures you know this is something that I don't think is a horrible thing and you know I'm not really into the whole full dogma of the raw food thing the only thing with me is why I keep eating raw foods and I do avoid most cooked foods is because of the way that it just makes me feel and the way that I thrive on it. There are some things that might be something that I may want to occasionally lightly steam. Very rarely um, do I have something like black beans and add that to a raw um, dish if I feel sometimes that I need that extra and you need to fill in and if you need to do it more like once a week or you know add it into your week maybe more than what I do there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes if you're doing that you may not be at least adding so many of those fats and it may work better to get some of those starches and things into your plan to help with your weight loss goals so you just have to kind of know what it is that you're trying to do and really believe in it i think that that's one of the most important things is to erase everything that you have learned about foods we all have been given foods to us in the past that had to do with dairy that had to do with meats and that had to do with a lot of the breads pasta cereals and things that gum the body up and make it harder for you to live and feel good it really does cause a lot of issues that make us feel tired and make us not really feel at our best and have that real high level of energy that we want that we get through the raw foods is so one of the things that i think is really important too is that you know sometimes people are not doing a lot of the things that they need to be doing and they might be getting um not rid of a lot of things in their body you know if you're not doing some of the enemas and you're not taking some of the this is um it's called uh life sign it is by lou corona and it is a um an, an enzyme that will help you to digest your foods and sometimes people really need digestive enzymes and they may not be using them and that can really help a lot too because some people because of the digestion when they first start on raw foods really have a hard time and that might really 
cause them to not want to eat raw foods and like I said if it takes a little bit of light steaming to start off with and eventually transitioning over to some of the more raw foods um, that might be what it takes too you know there's so many different avenues to this lifestyle you know you've got the gut microbiome which is very important and you want to pay attention to a lot of that you want to not ignore that because if that's not organized in your body and you're having trouble with that you could be experiencing actually hunger symptoms you could be experiencing a lot of different symptoms that you don't know why you're staying hungry and why your stomach isn't feeling right so there's just so many different things to it and you know I hope I don't miss anything because it's really important to study these things and understand these things because you have to have these things in order to succeed at this and if you're not interested in it and you just think per se that I could just eat raw foods they're supposed to be good for me so I'm just gonna buy some um, greens and eat them and if you're living on romaine lettuces and just throwing olive oil and some tomatoes and you know adding all these nuts and seeds that's the way it may not be working you know so I'm really not saying not to eat dates I eat dates sometimes I eat too many still sometimes I eat that last too many day after supper or something and you know that's when taking my uh, digestive enzyme beforehand may help you know because we all do these things on occasion but if you're living your life just um, not paying attention to these things and you're not getting to know your body it can really be causing you a lot of different issues that are and hunger can be one of them and so not only is it important to take digestive enzymes but it's also really important to make sure sometimes that you are getting you know a probiotic and this is by Mary Ruth's I take probiotics you know and sometimes after an enema you may want to take a probiotic because you want to make sure that your your gut bacteria is good and like I said that can cause a lot of different issues so also another big thing can be parasites sometimes people have parasites and parasites are causing you to feel hunger all the time and it's because they're eating a lot of your your good foods and they're eating a lot of the vitamins and minerals and things in your body and so you may not be thriving on this because of that and you may need to do a um a um a, a cleansing on that and um you know i have this uh, stuff called an intestinal edge and this stuff has like the the woodworm and the different stuff in there that helps with the parasites parasite cleanse that was what i was trying to get out and it just wasn't coming out i have problems sometimes with stuff like that but um definitely that can be something that can be causing major problems and that was something that i had major issues with because in my past past before I was doing Mediterranean style and before I got into pescatarian and long before raw foods I was eating sushi and so you know that definitely caused me to have a lot of parasites but even if you didn't eat sushi and you ate a lot of meats and all these different things um, chances are most people have parasites and when you first get on raw foods if you don't take care of some of these things this could be why you're feeling really bad and why you're suffering from actual hunger it may not be because you're starving on a raw food lifestyle it may be because of that so I think that it's really important to 
take care of all of these things, whether you need to do a juice fast, whether you need to do a parasite cleanse. Um, candida is another issue that people can have. And, you know, I talked about mercury and I dealt with that. You know, so I think that these are things that are important to address along with weight loss goals included in how much fat you're adding and learn learn about the ratios of the three, six, and nines and try to figure them out in your lifestyle. And, you know, you might find that these things may come together a lot better if you eliminate a lot of these other problems that are causing your goals to not be achieved the way you would like them to be. So I think I'm just going to end with that and I'm going to read this chapter out of Psalms. And this is um, um, 139. Uh, 14 and it says I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well so I love these little captions that I read this kind of keeps me in check with my spirituality every day and I hope that it helps other people because I really enjoy this book and if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day.